Uh, in our lab, we like to think about chemistry as a language of life. And that means that living organisms use uh, chemical cues and chemical signals to communicate with each other. In this language, molecules act as the words in the language and they give messages to other organisms. Our group is composed of graduate students, undergraduates, and postdoctoral researchers from uh, disciplines that uh, encompass the worlds of chemistry, biochemistry, and biology. One of the research questions we're trying to answer right now is how do single-celled algae that live in the ocean compete with each other for limited resources? We spend most of our time on research problems working in the lab, but we also do have access to field sites around the world. Right now, my students are planning a field expedition to the Gulf of Mexico um, to study the red tide that's happening in Florida. We explore whether or not some of these coral reef organisms might be producing compounds that have medicinal properties. And we're looking specifically for medicines to treat malaria, to treat different forms of cancer, um, and to treat HIV and tuberculosis. A new project for us uh, involves the, the chemistry of fear. And so in this particular project, one of our students in our lab is collaborating with another group in the School of Biology at Georgia Tech to understand how crabs uh, living in shallow waters of the Georgia coast smell and sense the chemical cues coming from the urine of other crab species. And these other crab species can act as predators attacking the first crab species.